So in this last type of PyTorch tutorial, so we're going to actually train it. So one of the things that uh, I did is to change the runtime to GPU. Yeah, so I changed it from none to GPU. And with that changing step, you have to run all the cells. Yeah, though, so now if we, you know, let me just, yeah. So if we get to view the, configuration device that we're actually using right now and now we're using the CUDA and before if the runtime is none if you run this one you get a CPU so right now it's a CUDA because now it's detecting that the GPU the the, 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 the CUDA drivers are, are been configured for the GPU that we have the runtime GPU that we are using so yeah so now let's import uh, copy paste some helper functions and classes that we are going to use for our training so one of the functions that we are actually going to paste is the binary threshold which essentially looks at a threshold above 0 0.5 or below 0 0.5 and then assigns it to either a value 1 or 0 and then yeah that's uh, since essentially we are training a binary classification neural network this function will be used then also we are going to copy paste a, 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 a metric monitor class from which you are going to instantiate an object that will help us keep track of the values the, such as the loss and accuracy on the many other values that you'd want to consider tracking in the in, in the event of training uh, our PyTorch model yeah so you can have a look uh, a look at it and understand how it's done yeah so now we are going to the cell which essentially defines the training so one thing since you're going to use the tqdm i have to first import it then the next part i'm going to define the i'm going to define the the, the criterion this is the last function that we're going to use Essentially, we are going to use binary cross entropy with the logits, since we are going to, uh, the uh, the last uh, the output of the last part of our pre-trained model is actually row probabilities. Uh, it has not passed training activation function, so its row probability is now generally known as logits. So that's why the logits, and then then we have our optimization function. We are going to use stochastic gradient descent, and we are going to we keep track of the parameters of our pre-trained models and the learning rate is, is 0 0.001 yeah and then we have to move our pretend model to the to the gpu since uh, there is where it's going to be uh, trained and then the data will move back and forth our our, call, uh, our cpu and the gpu so if we want to train we move data to the gpu and use it and then send it back yeah so after that now we define our function so our function will essentially do it by so the function takes uh, the train load the loader the model the loss function so the the loader the model the criterion or the loss function the optimizer And the epoch yes yeah, so after after taking those we are going to instantiate a, a metric monitor object from the metric monitor class yeah after doing that we are going to essentially uh, change the model uh, to train I essentially don't actually really understand I think it's just like uh, makes the model more more alert to training or i guess it just enables the training to be done so tqdm train loader so we assign a the progress bar to the loader then for index so here we use the We we'll use the the enumerate. Then we enumerate through the stream. 
with the streams output and we're going to start from one so the streams output is essentially the results of the of the data loader yeah so after doing that we want to move the images to the want to move essentially the images we want to move the images to the to the gpu so that's how we do it and then the same goes for the for the label so the targets so we want to also move the targets to the gpu so again that's how we do it so let me just change here so this part essentially allows us to to make the position of the target to be float and the last part essentially enables us to flatten it in case it was a matrix it becomes a vector before it's used and then uh, now we want to essentially predict the the values of the Im Im the outputs of the images now at this instance the model has not been updated so the my output is random so what we need to do first of all we use the loss function to calculate the difference the difference between the outputs and the target yeah and then the the value of the loss function will help, help us to propagate the loss back to the model weights and with that will that is done using the chain rule and then after that we'll use the optimizer to actually update the weights of the model according to the differentiation that has been done by the chain rule concept and so after doing that we now get to calculate our accuracy using our binary threshold function yeah so calculating accuracy is between the output and the targets yeah, so after doing that we update the the loss and the accuracy so we get to we get to update we update the loss we get to update the loss using the loss that item and then let me also just paste for the yes so let me then correct here then after updating those results uh, we essentially uh, zero gradients the optimizer so after doing that we propagate the loss backwards towards the model towards the model layers and nodes and then after propagating the loss then we use the optimizer dot step to actually update the weights yes and then after that uh, yeah that's done so the 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 events of this function will be done by the for loop iteratively until as the model trains so just do copy this part so we are done t from tq sorry about that i just say it's supposed to be tqdm and so after running that now we Wearing that now we epoch in range of one the number of epochs that we are going to use. Yeah. Then after that we call our train. The train loader is train data. The model that we are using is resnet fifty then the loss function is the criterion and then the opti we oh, are yeah, let me just change here a bit this should be 
optimizer yeah so the optimizer is optimizer then the epoch that we are at at the moment then yeah you can choose to save it after every 25 epochs or you can choose to save it after every so you can uh, save it after every if you want to save it after every 10th epoch after every five epochs you can just do that and then after that uh save my model to the maybe you want to save a model i want to save maybe according to the current epoch and for now i can use the pt though the recommended weight is to save the weights alone not the weights on the model yeah so right now if i let me change yeah so right now if we start i will see now that it's actually now training yes yeah, so yeah that's it on that's it on PyTorch, uh, PyTorch cats and dogs tutorial. So yeah, thank you for watching.